Shalom, I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. I pray and hope this will be edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kodash, that there is the true names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son and the Holy Spirit. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well, the true leaders of Israel today. And Shalom unto you hopeful elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. And we know <clears throat> that the judgment of our Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, is necessary. And that's what I'm entitled to this today. But we're going to start off in the book of Matthew chapter 24. In verse 37, and it reads, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So when the scriptures refer to Noah, that's going to our forefather Noah, right? It says, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is about to make his return. So let's read how, you know, the days of today parallels you know, the time of our forefather Noah, verse 38. It says, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Same here today. You have two-thirds of the nation of Israel. They're in the house of mirth. They really don't think that the judgment of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, is about to come here on the planet Earth. Well, newsflash, man. The prophets, the men of Yahweh Shem Shai is warning you that judgment is about to hit the planet Earth, man. So um, <clears throat> let's read on, verse thirty-nine. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So that's why the scriptures refer to the day of the Lord as coming like a thief in the night, man, because it's gonna take everyone off guard. All right, but the scriptures tell the elect. The men that's paying attention to measure the time diligently in itself. Okay. So, hey, we know and we understand what's about to come. And we know why it's about to come. Therefore, the judgment of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, is necessary. So, let's read the judgments that the Lord is about to bring. Second Edges 15, and we're going to start. At verse 5, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world. So the Lord said he's going to bring plagues upon the world, man. Let's read what he's about to bring. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's great judgment that the Lord is about to bring here on the planet Earth. And we know that this, this time of judgment is, is known... <clears throat> That's Jacob's trouble, man. All right. And in the midst of Jacob's trouble, you're going to have the hour of temptation, which is an enforcement or implementation of the RFID micro C hip, which is the MOTB or the mark or the Greek word karagma of the beast. All right. So let's read on verse six. It says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. And that's why I'm entitled this. The judgments of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, is necessary. The scripture said that wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And we know even during the time of Noah, our forefather, you know, hey, wickedness was at an all-time high. So how much more now, man? How much more now that the wicked, the devil himself, Esau, Edom, is in control of the planet Earth, man. So let's go ahead and get that account on how, you know, during the time of Noah, you know, wickedness was on an all-time high as well. Let's go to the book of Genesis, the sixth chapter. And we actually might get a little bit more in-depth into it for, for new believers who don't understand, you know, some of the words being brought out here. You know, because you have... Israelite camps, all right, who you should not follow, you know, breaking down the scriptures incorrectly, you know, um, but let's get into it. Genesis chapter six and verse one, 
And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and the daughters were born unto them that the sons of the Most High. All right. Who are the sons of the Most High today? The Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans of today. You see, all throughout the scriptures, there's always been a chosen righteous seed, you know, and, and even from the beginning. There was a there was a wicked seed, you know, starting with uh, uh, Cain and Abel, you know, uh, and then, you know, after Abel was slew, you know, you have Seth. OK, when you get that understanding, there's always been a righteous seed throughout the throughout the uh, the scriptures. And they were known as the sons of the Most High or the sons of God. All right. But it says verse two, it says that the sons of God or the Most High saw the daughters of men that were that they were fair okay now when it goes into the daughters of men those are the women of the other nations that are, that were upon the earth okay and when it goes into that they were fair and meaning hey they were they were good looking women man you know for the sons of the most high to take a liking unto you even now you know we like beautiful women all right so you know that's what it's going into it says and they took them wise of all which they chose. Verse 3. And the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai said. My spirit shall not always strive with man. For that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. Okay. So that's when. You know. Our, our time upon the earth. Started to dwindle. Okay. Even unto now. You know. To now you might get a solid. Uh, Eighty. 70 years, you know, if you're lucky, you know, but it's all according to the will of Yahweh Shem Shai, of course. Verse 4, it says, there were giants in the earth in those days. All right, now th those giants aren't talking about 5,500 feet, feet men walking upon the earth. And I believe the camp that teaches that is uh, GOCC, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm incorrect, correct me, you know, but I believe I'm, I'm correct on that, all right? not trying to bear false witness on any any men on the earth all right but uh let's get into that understanding because we do have new believers who don't understand that yet that they weren't ta it wasn't talking about literal giants okay it was talking about the sons of the most high all right who we are today so let's go into it the blue letter for giants strong's h 5303 Nafil. 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 All right. And that's where you get the word Nephilim. Okay. And that's where they, you know, go into uh, the mythologies, you know, talking about 5,000 or 500 foot men. But let's go to the uh, the Hebrew Chaldee uh, lexicon. Let's tap here, right here. Because the understanding is there. You know, you just have to do the research. Now, uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15, study to shrew thyself approved unto the Most High. You know, we got to do the research, man. So, going into it, let's go down to here. It says, large in body, okay? Because you got to understand, we always had a great stature about us, you know, as the sons of the Most High. But it wasn't talking about we are 5,500 foot men, as, we, as it's about to go into it says, but it says large in body, but this is incorrect for in means excellent, noble, skillful. All right. So that's what it meant by giants or Nephilim. All right. We were noble. We were skillful. OK. And excellent, man. That's what it meant. All right. So, you know, going into today's time, you will have giants in the earth such as uh, LeBron you know, so on and so forth, okay, you know, I hate, hate for him to be an example, you know, but it is what it is, so reading it, Genesis, um, let me bring that picture back up, so Genesis chapter 6 and verse 4, it says, there were giants in the earth in those days, because, you know, the sons of God, you know, we were known to be excellent, noble, and skillful back then, even as we are today, all right, so we had a particular glory and fame about us. And that's going to be restored back unto us, man. 
You're going to have giants back in the earth again, man. It says there were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of the Most High came in unto the daughters of men, meaning the women of the other nations during that time, it says they bare children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old and men of renown. All right. So they, they pretty much, you know, got got fame and, and, a, and a glory about them as well, which we were mighty men and we still are. All right. But we're of a, a, a lower degree during this time because through age, you know, we we uh, the years upon the earth has dwindled our strength, you know, pretty much dwindled. You know, until the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai restores us again, man. So I just wanted to bring out that understanding, but read on verse 5. It says, And the Most High saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Hey, that's the point, man. The wickedness of man was great in the earth, all right? So even during that time, there was wickedness on an on a all-time high. How much more now? As we read in 2nd Edges 15 and 5, uh, or 6, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth so that's why the judgment of the lord is necessary but finishing this out excuse me genesis 6 and 5 it says and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart meaning his mind was only evil continually and that's a same here today man you see uh, a bunch of evil uh works coming into fruition throughout the earth today you know and it's just gonna keep mounting up until the Lord ultimately judge this place for good, all right? And it says to read on, verse 7, And the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and creeping thing and fowls of the, earth, of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai. So here in today's time, who are the ones who have found grace in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Shai? The elect, okay? The elect has found grace in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Shai, and through them, the nation of Israel will be back restored in the kingdom. Because two thirds, hey, they're gonna have to taste of that of that sword, famine, death, and destruction that we read about, all right? Because they 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 don't want to get right on this side. You know, they, they stop in their ears at the warning, you know, of Yahweh by Shemel Shai through his men, the prophets. So let's get this real quick. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, and verse 9, it says, Except the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shai of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant mm -hmm. that's going into yeah. the elect, all right, the one third, which consists of the 144,000 and the great multitude. All right. It says, except the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. And we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities. The Lord burned it up with fire and brimstone. OK, which is a prelude. All right. Or a foreshadowing on what the Lord is going to do here to America. OK. And to the Holy Land. You know, in any other place that the Lord uh, wants to judge by way of thermonuclear fire. All right. So getting back into it, Genesis 6 and 9, it says, These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation. And Noah walked with the Most High. And, and the elect are walking with the Most High today, following the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of their abilities. All right, when it goes into that Noah walk with the Most High, it's not going into that the Most High came down himself and held Noah's hand or, or walked side by side. It was just going into how Noah followed the, 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 the commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, verse 10, And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Okay, and we know that the righteous seed was continued on through Shem. All right. And it says, um, which, you know, those those small heads, they call, they try to call themselves Semitic, all right? But, you know, the real, the real name is Shem, okay? 
But verse 11, it says, The earth also was corrupt before the Most High, and the earth was filled with the violence, with violence, Salakia. Hey, and that's here today. And the Lord actually told us how the, how the world was going to be today. It said the earth was filled with violence. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, hey, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. It says the love of many shall wax cold. And that's why you see these different uh, news articles of, uh, hey, it was a news article of, uh, I believe it was an older brother killed a, a, a little brother. I mean, he was a little boy, right? For selling, uh, I think it's PS5 or something like that. It was something stupid, okay, for a gun, all right? So the love of many is really waxing cold like the Lord prophesied to us, all right? So, verse 12, it says, uh, Genesis 6 and 12, And the Most High looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all the all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And the Most High said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Room shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. Okay, and this this is very important, right? The Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shai is giving Noah instructions, just as we have instructions today, to 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 cease from sin, all right, to repent to our power, and to seek Him ten times more. You know, Noah received instructions to build the ark a particular way. Remember, there, there's no other way to get into the kingdom of the Most High but through the straight gate, okay? And that, that way, you know, we're following Yahweh Shai to get to the kingdom. And excuse me, uh, let me pause it real quick. My son called. All right, so like it, we back at it, you know, just had to check on my son, right? But, you know, just as Noah has particular instructions to follow, we have particular instructions to follow as well. You know, following the law, statute, and commandments, uh, repenting to our power, and following at the will, following the way, you know, Yahweh Shai, all right? But uh, let's go back into it. Genesis six sixteen. it says, A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in cubits shalt thou finish it, above, finish it above. And the door of the ark shalt thou sit, set in the side thereof, with lower second, and third story shalt thou make it. Verse 17. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven. And everything that is in the earth shall die. So, A, hey, the Lord took the credit that he is bringing the flood upon the earth. And the Lord told us today. And he is bringing, hey, the lake of fire, man. He's bringing that fire, all right? The judge, the great judgment that's about to befall the planet Earth and all the other judgments that the Lord will bring. So we're going to get back into uh, Genesis, uh, 2 Edris 15. And uh, we'll start at verse 6 again. It says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, all the, all the saints that have passed away in this truth. And we know, according to the Most High, you know, Revelation uh, 14 and 13, their works do follow them, all right? It says, Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me. It says, And the souls of the just complain continually. Yeah, the, the elect, man, we're crying out. You know, we're sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. And the Lord, you know, Lord, will we be a part of that hopeful elect is setting a thawa on us, all right? Which is a mark of exemption, all right? Or a mark of exemption from judgment, man. And we pray we be a part of that hopeful elect to receive mercy, man. Lord will, Lord will, all right? So, um, yeah, I think I, I made the point in that, you know, the Lord 
is bringing all this great judgment, you know, upon the planet Earth. And the judgment that the Lord is about to bring is necessary, all right? <clears throat> so, let's get something real quick, and I'll end it on that. <clears throat> let's go to the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 7. It says, by faith, all right? Faith is very important in this walk of ours, all right? You know, a matter of fact, even goes into how without faith, we'll read that, you know, it's impossible to please Yahweh Bashim Shai. But first, we'll get the definition of faith in, in Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. What are we hoping for? We're hoping for salvation. All right. And in salvation, we're hoping for the kingdom. It says, for, it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So these things, the evidence is about to be seen, you know, when the prophecies begin to come to pass, all right? This faith is not given unto everybody, man. Everybody don't understand why we continue to go out there on the highways and the byways. And we continue to do the work of the Lord faithfully, all right? Because they don't have faith, all right? They, 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 their, uh, their hope and their faith is in things that are seen. They're carnal, but we are spiritual, man. But, you know, verse six, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Who are we trying to please? The heavenly father. All right. We're trying to be acceptable men in the eyes of the most high. It says, for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. That's the heavenly father's name. Yahweh. All right. He to be. He exists. He is, man. It says, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And only the elect is going to diligently seek him. You know, seek Yahweh by Shemel Shai mm -hmm. ten mm -hmm. times more, as the scriptures say. Verse 7. By faith, Noah being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet. So, hey, the, Noah was told that a flood was coming. But he didn't see the rain falling quite yet. That means Noah had faith. And we, hey, we don't see the thermonuclear missiles flying in the air right now, but we know that it's coming because the Lord told us, hey, we got faith today, man. It says, moved with mm. fear, moved with fear, and fear is very important. The beginning of knowledge, matter of fact, Proverbs 1 and 7, all right? But the fools despise wisdom and instruction. So, hey, the, the two-thirds, they're foolish, man, to not fear the Lord, all right? <clears throat> It says, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. And we read, you know, the instructions that the Lord gave him. Very specific instructions that he did follow. It said, no move with fear, man. So best believe he followed to those instructions to the T. And we got to follow the instructions to the T. Okay. We got to, we got to see some sin. We got to repent. And we got to seek our power 10 times more and enter in at the straight gate, man. It says, Moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. So, yeah, we can save our house, possibly. But it's all according to the will and the mercy of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We got to continue to do the things that's well-pleasing unto our power. And we got to pray for our, our, the safety of ourselves and our house, man. It says, by which he condemned the world to uh, and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. And we... We're going to follow in those same footsteps, Lord, will we be a part of that hopeful elect. But I pray and hope that this was edifying to the elect of the nation of Yahshua Allah. You know, the judgment of Yahabah Shem Al Shai is very necessary. The two-thirds, they're going to understand why we do this. The world is going to understand why we do this. And if they don't understand, they will understand. So, Lord, will this is edifying to the elect of the nation of Yahshua Allah. And with that, Shalom.